Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Atari, many more, how they overcome big challenges in life and business. This is part of the e-commerce mastery series where top sellers and experts teach you what really works to boost your e-commerce business. Our sponsor today is Rise25.com, where six, seven, eight-figure business owners and entrepreneurs come together live and in person every few months to solve their biggest business challenges and leave with lifelong friendships. My favorite book of the week I just want to mention is Time Collapsing by Ed O'Keefe. He actually has several successful businesses. He has seven kids and he trains daily uh, on exercise. It's an amazing book, uh, so people can check that out. Today, I'm excited. We have Nick Ingersoll. He's co-founder and chief marketing officer of Barnana. Uh, his co-founders are Kawe and Matt. Barnana is a healthy... The reason I, you know, I found out about this, Nick, is because I actually had the product. I was eating the product. I love the product. I was like, this is amazing. What's the story behind this product? And I was eating the banana coconut and these little like squares, and essentially, and they're like nice and soft, but they're like a good texture to them. And we'll t- we'll talk about the production process. And I know you have a good uh, story about upcycling, but that's how I found out about it. And when you read their story, it's it's truly amazing. But Barnana is a healthy organic banana snack with flavors like coconut banana, which I've eaten, banana chocolate, many more. They're in over 5,000 stores, including Safeway and Whole Foods. They're in U.S., Japan, Canada, and Australia. And their company is not just a company, but they do have a mission. Their company is on a mission to end food waste at banana farms. Nick, thanks for joining me. Thanks, man. Happy to be here. So I always ask this, Nick, um, what's been the lowest moment and how you push through? the hard time, um, and then the highest or proudest moment so far. What's been the lowest for you? The lowest point for me, um, man, there's two of them that come to mind. Uh, Definitely when we were first starting the business, uh, you know, I was still in college. I maxed out all my credit cards, uh, defaulted on my student loans to start the company, um, not something that I wanted to do, but just something that what had were you to spending the money on at the time? Like, what were you paying for in the credit card? Um, well, my education for one, so I yeah. did finance some of my education through credit cards, and then also just living expenses. Uh, we didn't have uh, any income to begin with starting Barnana. We didn't raise capital right off the bat. It took us, you know, a few yeah. months. Um, so definitely, uh, ruining your credit's not fun. Getting those calls, um, that was definitely a low point. Uh, although all the while having the optimism that everything would work out and it would yeah. be all for the better. I mean, but at the time you just did what you had to do, right? Exactly. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah. I just believed that, that it would work out and I knew that, uh, I knew that I could make it happen. So, um, you know, I, I wasn't too concerned about it. Um, but it did drag on me a little bit. Um, and then I think, probably the only thing that surpasses that as the lowest moment is when my dad passed away mm. about a year into the business mm. when we were still Sorry married. to hear that, man. Yeah, yeah. This is not something I talk about a lot, right? But um, if you're asking me honestly, that that's definitely yeah. the lowest point for sure. You know, because that's a reality, Nick. You yeah. know, like when you're running a business, it's not like you're, you're operating in a bubble, right? Yeah. You're operating and you have to handle all the personal stuff too. Exactly you know, right. and then pushing through that, that's just really tough, you know, because yeah. then how do you focus on a business or anything for that matter if that stuff happens in your life, you know? Yeah, I mean, you have to have your head on just so tight, man. Um, that can really wreck people, you know, especially my dad was the guy that raised me. He's my best friend, the whole thing. Right. Um, you know, it was an accident. It was a planned thing. So, you know, you really have to have some mental fortitude to just put your head uh, to the grindstone and, and make sure that you're taking care of all the employees and investors and everything else that you've built um, and not let anything fall through the cracks. When you think of your dad, what story do you think of? <laughs> what story do I think of? Yeah. Yeah, I think that probably the story that I think of the most is one of the last times that I saw him. Um, I gave him a new Bardana shirt. And he was just so stoked. Mm. Uh, and again, you know, he passed away when we were one year into the business. So we hadn't really built anything giant at that point. Mm. Uh, but you seen the look on his face, man. He was he was excited. So yeah. that's definitely the one that comes to you mind. Knew. Yeah. 
thanks yeah. for sharing that. I appreciate that. That's yeah, it's really hard. Um, so on the flip side, what's been some of the proudest moments for you personally? I think probably one of the proudest moments. Um, it was actually sort of a succession of, of proud moments. Um, a few of our employees have had kids now, and I think that you know when you're running a business and you have employees and you know you need to take care of them and their families and everything else, um, being able to provide them with um, the income and the benefits and everything necessary to, to raise yeah. a newborn baby That's uh, amazing. is something pretty special. So yeah. you know, I've experienced that a couple times now. Um, I think that's probably one of the high points. Barnana babies. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. What about from the business standpoint? Um, What's been the most, I mean, you've gotten to have a lot of success with different distribution channels. What's been personally for you been a huge win? I think the biggest win for us is that we've grown with velocity instead of sort of the shotgun blast, low velocity, high footprint strategy. Mm -hmm. A lot of times in the food industry, you can grow one of two ways. So you can either grow through velocity um, or you can grow through just having a ton of retailers that you sell in. Um, and so for us, knowing that there's repeat purchase and people actually really do love the product and keep going back and repurchasing it on a macro level in mass um, is definitely one of the most rewarding things for me. Um, I think that seeing that velocity means that the business is growing in the right way, in a sustainable way, in a way that brands grow that last, um, that aren't just kind of a flash in the pan. Yeah. So that's something I'm really proud of. Yeah. Nick, this has been amazing. How can people best support you? Is it better for them if they're interested to get it on your site? Is it better to get it in retail? What What's best? Yeah, I think um, the best way is, is whatever's most convenient for you. You know, uh, yeah. obviously at Barnana.com, uh, we control all the experience. Um, you know, any issues that anybody ever has, you can always reach out to us in customer service. Um, you know, going in, supporting the retailers is great too, Whole Foods, et cetera. Uh, really, really, any support is, is welcome support, and um, we just hope that we're doing something that uh, everybody else can love. So Yeah. Thank you. Everyone check out barnana.com. Nick, it's been amazing. I appreciate it. Likewise, man. Thanks. I appreciate it. Thank you.